The succulent Karoo boasts a very rich flora, with 69% of its plants found nowhere else. For three months of the year, tourists come from all around the world to witness the spectacular flower show in Namaqualand. However, for the rest of the year, the region goes from this to this. The Global Bank City provides funding to Conservation South Africa's Skepis program, which encourages alternative business initiatives that create employment and at the same time increase the local community's resilience to climate change. In Namakwaland, the core economic activities are really focused around agriculture and around tourism. So without a healthy environment here, our local economies could not be sustained. We have a lot of social issues due to the downscaling of mining companies and what people normally do is they go back to the old traditional way of farming on an already overgrazed area. So by providing alternatives to retrench employees, our message out there is that people need nature to thrive and that everybody can actually develop through nature conservation. Vera's Guesthouse is an eco-friendly tourist destination, which employs local plants in its main facilities. During the high season, guests can choose to sleep in traditional grass huts that are built every year, reproducing those that the local Nama people used to live in. The Kookskerm is an open place, like a boma, which is built from bushes and we prepare our food inside that cook's garden on the fire. So we make traditional food in our cook's garden. We constantly monitor and evaluate the projects that is with Skeppies, and through this we are able to identify problems or difficulties that the projects, projects might be facing, and together we can tackle those difficulties and solve it so that they can become more sustainable. The SCAPIS program is helping a lot because they give us some training about the climate change and they do mentoring on the project and they also help with funding. Great Vera's business growing from strength to strength. Um, in this area, her, her success has really inspired people and she's actually grown her own competition as another guest house and several small catering companies have emerged to compete with her but also to take advantage of her increased traffic through town. Once a month, Earl Muller collects used cooking oil from the hospitality industry, turning it into cheaper and greener biodiesel at his biofuel plant in Concordia. We recycle used cooking oils from all over the region, uh, restaurants, uh, takeaway shops. Previously, the used cooking oils landed on wasteful sites uh, where they contaminated the environment. Biodiesel is the only alternative fuel that's uh, good for the environment and for humans. Biodiesel increases the fuel economy and power of diesel engines and lubricates better than regular diesel. Additionally, the blend of 50% biodiesel and 50% petroleum diesel that Earl Muller uses emits 40% less carbon dioxide than regular diesel. It also reduces sulfur oxide emissions. It is non-flammable, non-toxic and biodegradable. Uh, as a member of a previously disadvantaged community, we find it very difficult to get in, enough money uh, to expand the business. I approached Capis to, to help me to get the business up and running with a small grant fund. With the assistance of City's funding, his production has increased from 10,000 to 35,000 litres per month. Our business is providing a product that is in great demand in the community of Concordia as well as the surrounding communities. Um, this is being used by farmers as well as businesses for their everyday use. Earl's project is a very good example of a project that has a really good uh, conservation outcome. He is able to take a whole lot of waste cooking oil that would have been dumped into the natural environment and make a really good use of that, turning it into a marketable product, also producing a byproduct glycerin which can also be used for something productive. So he's got a really nice closed cycle of in, the, in his production. Um, but he's also using his product then to reduce emissions, which is reducing greenhouse gases in his own small way. 
The main aim is basically to demonstrate that small things can work. And once we see that government is buying it, that big businesses is buying it and they amplify it, then we will have a bigger impact. City's commitment to the Skeppies program is absolutely crucial. So they really took a risk on the program and we really appreciate that because as we've learned together, I think we've built a very strong network of small businesses that are really aware and of what the climate impacts and risks to those businesses are going to be. The work of Conservation South Africa in Ramakulan provides people with access to training and empower them to uh, become more adept to the um, effects of climate change. And we also provide them with alternatives to the traditional ways of earning a livelihood, for example, mining and, and farming. And by supporting eco-friendly businesses, we also ensure that people become more sensitive to biodiversity issues and nature conservation. And therefore, that will lead to a better future for all of us. Thank you.